amounts for goods or services not yet delivered. Amounts the business owes to suppliers. Amounts the business owes to suppliers. Add up all the current and non-current assets to calculate the total assets of the business. Amounts the business owes to suppliers. Of the business owes to suppliers. Amounts the business owes to suppliers. Loans or credit due within one year. Unpaid but incurred expenses, utility bills, earned revenue, payments received in advance for goods or services not yet delivered. Amounts the business owes to suppliers. Amounts the business owes to suppliers. Payments received in advance for goods or services not yet delivered. Long-term debt payable over a period longer than one year. And current and non-current liabilities to get total liabilities. The owner's investment. The owner's investment. The owner's investment. The terminal of the sole proprietor. Subtract any withdrawals made by the owner for personal use. Step 10. Balance the sheet. Ensure that equal final review and adjustments. Cross-check the values for accuracy and ensure the balance sheet balances. to calculate the total assets of the business. Amounts the business owes to suppliers. Cash on hand and bank balances. On payments received in advance for goods or services not yet delivered. Payments received in advance for goods or services not yet delivered. Got up all the current and equipment, office equipment, vehicles, furniture, machinery. Intention.